In last session, we discussed about how to create report parameters and you can see a beautiful report generated with a, a simple uh, tabular report it's not a complex one but by using parameter and we also discussed about filters now let's see how to add more than one parameter to your report for example now this is report this is filtering the data based on color now i want to filter the data based on color and i want to provide the user the flexibility of selecting the products that he want to see or he wish to see for example, there may be some hundreds of products which are in which are red in color or which comes in red color. So we, whenever you don't want to see all the products information, if he is interested in a couple of products, he cannot go for it. If you have only one parameter. And if you see, I have to click uh, so many pages. I mean, I have to navigate through so many pages so, to find out the product that I am interested in. Now let's see how to add another parameter. Uh, English product name to filter the data based on products too. So for doing the same, <clears throat> the first step is I have to create a data set to load the products that are present in the database. So the first step, as part of first step, I'm creating a data set and I'm naming it as products info. As you can see here, and I'm taking a shared embedded data set by taking the adventure works as data source, select product key comma English product name from dim product table so this guy will fetch two fields one is product key and one is product name and we will use product key to query the data and product name to display the data so instead of this product name I will show it as products which looks better and remaining let it be like that so my data set is ready I have a data set now the next step is I have to create a report parameter so for doing the same I'm going to the uh, I right clicked on add parameter and I'm naming it as uh, prod para and uh, I'll prompt it as products colon and I want to allow multiple values so I'm checking it and in available values, if I go and I'm checking, I'm, I'm taking the option get values from inquiry and the data set which fills the data for this parameter is products info. The value field, the one which is used for querying purpose is product key and the label. Okay, fine. Everything is set. Now let's see the preview, how it looks. <coughs> so I've taken red color and you can see I have so many options here. So let me navigate to the bottom and let me take some red color product and click on OK. If you see, I selected road 650 red 52 as the product, but it is not filtering that particular product. The reason is I added the data set and I added the report parameter and I have not yet added the query parameter to assign the value while querying the data. When I don't have query parameter and when there is no relationship between query parameter and the report parameter, then adding a report parameter into your report is of no use. So now let's see the steps that I have to follow to add the query parameter and providing the reference between the query parameter and the report parameter. So what is the data set which is filling the data, I mean, data for my reports? That is embedded. Okay. In this one, I have to provide the query parameter just like I provided for color. So in with color, I also want to filter product name and I can filter it based on product key, right? Why? Because my value column is product key. My I'm going to pass value column here. So uh, I have to filter based on product key here. Dim product is the table name dot product key in, I'm saying at the rate product key. So this is my query parameter so uh, just like we as we discussed in uh, last session about color parameter I have added one more parameter why I have taken dim product table name dot column name here instead of uh, column name. the reason is the product key column is available in both the tables one is fact internet sales and another one is product so there will be a conflict and it will throw an error saying that let me know which column you want me to use 
So that is why you have to provide this table name dot column name. And now the mapping path. Go to the parameters. You have to select the product param. If you take product param just like this, it will take the value column, and that is why I have given product key instead of English product name. You can also take product name, but you have to pass <coughs> label path. Label is the one which we have taken uh, English product name. So you have to provide label path if you want to pass name column or label column. So better go with the product key as discussed and this is fine. Click on OK. Now let's see whether it works or not. So red color I have selected and I'm taking which one, which one, which one. So let me take this guy 60, 62 and so on. You can see a product is uh, available twice so you can filter it and uh, I mean you can use this thing to get the distinct values. Now I'm getting duplicate values, right? You can use this thing to get the distinct value. And now if you see it is filtered as per the selection. Road 650, red 60. And only one page of records are coming and everything is beautiful. I mean the user can filter based on color as well as based on product. Now if you observe it clearly, we have a problem here and the problem is Instead of selecting this red blah blah blah, if I select something with the blue color or black color, if you see this is black guys, black color uh, products. If I select this, obviously the data will not be written. Why? Because these products comes in only red color. So if you provide black here, then you can expect data. If you provide black here, then you can expect data. Why? Because, uh, because it is a uh, uh, black it comes in black color. I think I filtered the black color products here. Let me check the filter part Yeah, you can see only non black color products. I want to show so that is why it is not coming So here now if I select the same black color products Somewhere here I can see yeah Here also it is there These guys so if I select black color products and click on view report it won't fetch why because these are black color the products that comes in black color so I selected red here so the under operator will be applied between these two conditions if you see we have taken under operator in our query so that is why the color should be in red and product should be with this name it is not possible combination so the best combination is the, the correct combination is black color and the product name is black I think no sales for this so if this is the case it is very difficult for the end user to find out whether they are selecting the matching combination or not. For example, if he selects black and only black color products are listed, then that one will be very helpful to the user. You don't need to worry and find out, search for the products that comes in black color. In the same way, if you select a silver color, if, if the products drop down list can load only silver color products, that will be very, very helpful. So we call this option as cascading, cascading parameters. When any two parameters or more than two parameters are related or dependent on the other one. For example, here product is dependent on color. So this kind of functionality is called cascading. So cascading parameters is nothing but when two or more parameters are dependent on other parameters. The first one, the best and classic example is if you select, let's say this first parameter is your country. And if you select country, if the second parameter is loading states that belong to that particular country, and if I select any state, the third parameter is loading the um, districts that belong to the particular state, then that functionality is called cascading parameters functionality. And uh, the another example is year, quarter, month, and so on. If you select a 2002, and if it can fill only 2002 quarters, that will be, if the next parameter is going to fill 2002 quarters, that will be very helpful. User no need to search. For example, if we want to search for a black color, uh, pro the product which comes in silver color here, he has to go through all the products. If somewhere here I have seen silver like this. And imagine if he has some thousands or millions of products, products what he can do? He can, uh, it's very difficult for him to go through all the millions of products to find out the um, 
item that comes in silver color. So that is why the cascading part plays a major role in SSRS reports. And nowadays people, clients are not accepting the reports if they have more than two parameters and those are not cascaded, which will uh, increase the overhead on the end user. So that's why they are asking for cascading. Now let's see, we designed the uh, parameter color and we designed parameter products and now how to cascade these things. You can easily understand what is your requirement. The requirement is this guy should not be filled automatically. This guy should be filled based on the value selected from here. Right? So from where this guy's data is getting filled. The products are getting filled using the data set products info. This is the query which we are using to fill the data for the parameter products. Now if you can have a restriction that is fine. Where color in adre color so that means whatever the color I'm gonna pass using the first parameter that one will be taken here and then query will be filtered and pull the only this is the simplest thing but people feel it as the most complex part of uh, applying parameters or providing designing parameters but see you have to think it what is the requirement and how to achieve it the requirement is product should be filtered based on the color selection or the next parameter let's say class class should be filtered based on product selection so something like that so here in this case product should be filtered based on the color selection so I have added a where condition for the color and now <coughs> I have to map this so this color value I'll get it from color parameter so once I get the color if you see here first it will execute this color info. We can see the data set, right? It will execute this color info and fill this color parameter. And we will select the color parameter here, like gray or something. Then this value, this gray value will be sent to this products info. And the products that belongs to gray color will be loaded. And when I select this particular, pro, uh, any value for the products and click on OK, then these two values will be sent to the main data set and it will filter the complete data to return the results that are available. Now if I select white color, <coughs> you can see the products that comes in white colors are loaded. This is how you can cascade more than two parameters, so two parameters are more. And it is not always like this. The first parameter, the second one should be dependent on first and third one should be dependent on second and fourth one should be dependent on third. It is not like that. The second one will be may be dependent on first and third one also may be dependent on first. It depends on your requirement, how your requirement comes. Now, let's try to add one more. One more uh, parameter and see how it will work. For example, uh, I want to add one more parameter for class. Okay, I'm adding a new data set. Uh, let's say class info. The same steps I followed for uh, creating the products parameter, and I'm taking the connection ADV. Select distinct. I'll get more than one. So I'm using distinct class from din product. So this is the query, fine. Now I want to add a class parameter. It should be on top. This should be the first one of my selection. So how to do that? Let, let me show you that. Class param and uh, class is the prompt name. Sorry, this should be here. I'm not, uh, okay. Class param, this is the name of the parameter. And allow multiple values, let it be and the values should come from the query. The data set that is class info, value field is same and label field is same as there is no key column for this classes. So fine. Now if I execute this, you can see that everything is ordered in the order of the parameters created. For example, if you see the class parameter, color is first, product is second, class is third, but our requirement is class should come first. So what I have to do here is I have to select the class, use this button to move up. Now if you see the class will come first and then the remaining like this. So now let's go back to this. 
everything is set the class uh, will be loaded first for example hlm if i select h only the colors that will that has the class h should be displayed and based on the color the product should be displayed everything is fine but this color will not be filtered why because i have not added any filter condition in the color info so if you see the color info is straightforward one so what i have to do just like i've done for products where class in at the rate class so get the colors based on the class that is selected and the parameter should be mapped so selected the class here now it will do that <coughs> Sorry. so i'm selecting h class and you can see only few colors are coming let me go for blue and only few products will come that do belongs to blue so this is the beauty this is a fantastic feature right i mean uh, this is the feature that normally i will uh, be available in all the reporting tools but the beauty is it won't take much work. Uh, it is not much complex part on our head you have to just uh, create a simple data set map it that's it and it will take care of the rest as a server will take care of the rest and you can see the beautiful report is generated so this is how you can um, make the parameters cascading. So you can cascade n number of parameters. If you have 10 to 15 parameters, you can uh, make them as cascading. And if you see here a products info, uh, uh, sorry, class will filter colors, color will filter products, right? Or in other words, products are dependent on color and colors are dependent on uh, class right now as I told you a couple of minutes back you can it is not mandatory that first one should uh, second one should be dependent on first and third one should be dependent on first sorry, sorry, second you can also make it as third one can be dependent on sec first one it all depends on your requirement if you want to filter the product that belongs to the class H then you can simply do that which one is loading products parameter that is product info Instead of color, filter by class. You have class available already. So at the rate class and map the parameter. From now onwards, here, if I click on OK, that's it. The param parameter products will be filtered based on class from now onwards rather than color. So this is how you can you can see the parameters are disabled why because the value should be loaded based on the first selection and this one if you see the data is loaded why because it is the default value we set is red color so if i don't set any color as default value here and after loading it won't uh, take any default value and hence the third parameter will be still uh, in uh, um, what we call it as disable mode until I select the color parameter here you can, you can see the products are not yet loaded why because it depends on the color and you can see now the color is loaded so this is about the uh, parameters cascading parameters and uh, that's it for this session and in the next session we're going to discuss about the uh, difference between parameters and filters the main and major one and then we are also discuss about tabular format report I mean matrix format and the differences between these two and also we are going to discuss about report header and footer and couple of properties. Uh, thank you very much.